Hello and welcome to Kicker Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we continue exploring Tarjan 3 and I want to look on a better way to create rocks. Actually, the fake rocks with displacement inside the Tarjan they work very well and a very nice effect producing. But what I want to do is see how we can enhance them to create a bit more realistic and apply as well external textures to those rocks. Let's go ahead and we begin this by adding fake rock shaders. So we can go inside our terrain or inside the shaders and create from here, or we can go inside the shaders node view, right click. We can go to create shaders. It's kind of off screen, hard to see, but we go to um, displacement shaders right here. We'll again select the fake stone shader. So we'll go ahead and click this one. The one thing you'll notice, we don't want to place this above um, in our terrain. So because the colors will override the colors that I want to apply with fake shaders. So I want to use this after we create it. As well, let's create a surface um, shader so we can use it a little bit more in other ones. So we'll go ahead, create another shader surface surface and we'll just surface layer right here. So this one will help us to put all them together. And we'll just for now I'm just going to connect right here to our render. It should be kind of disappearing. And next I want to connect my shaders to here so we'll go in this point actually you know we don't need even need it base colors so we'll just go select and connect the surfaces so right here we have our original view only we're using surface layers the reason with surface layers so we can add um, rocks to this or any other effects if we want it so you can kind of combine and mix them all together as we want to add the rocks to this, now we right here have a child layer. We'll just take fake rocks and select the child layer. You notice right in our image, we have it, those rocks appear. So let's go just come closer. I want to just get actually quite a bit close to our rocks. So we can preview some of this quality. Let's copy this to our main camera and we can render right now. Okay, as the render, you can see it's a very basic shape. What I want to do, let's stop render. I want actually to increase amount of the rocks and maybe make them just slightly smaller. And sometimes you kind of will be asking what size of the rocks and we can always look right in this number. And there you can see it's about one meter rock you can see right here by values on this measuring and we can also see the height of the rock let's go again millimeters so centimeters about um, about one meter so let's go ahead and just slightly modify also what I want to do I want to take this shader zone is increasing so we kind of combine them together okay we'll open our fake stone shader and right here stone scale let's go ahead and set this maybe about um, smaller half and increase density five so you'll notice right now we have much more rock density covering and this is about what i'm looking for okay we're gonna go just a little bit just right here so we can preview this give it us plenty of the rocks to observe and everything. The next things what I want to do is add some colors to these rocks. We can do this by using procedure color placement. And we leave um, our shape, tallness, pancake effects all the same for this one. You can actually squeeze them a little bit more if it's kind of wetter or kind of more pancake effect you want it. But for the purpose of the tutorial, we'll just leave it this as default. We'll just only modify stone scale and density. 
right here on top we have a surface shader so let's go open this and we'll create a new shader we'll go inside the color shader and we'll use it image map shader so let's open right here and you notice I have it some of the textures you will have it this texture um, with your pack when you purchase and actually will be way more different ones you can use it so I'm just going to use the rock for this let's go ahead open okay you notice it is um, just placed above so let's okay you'll notice our shader like it right here in a corner far away so I want this stretch as well right now my fake stones going all away they're not just uh, in by the camera they're going actually right over the mountains everything so I want this rocks kind of limited to specific zone and to do this what we're going we're going to um, actually right here our simple layer this is our mask for this zone so I'm just going to drag this and connect to the fake rocks so now we limited this fake rocks displacement just only to this valley to this zone you can create a different map and you can create a different um, mask for the rocks in the shape you wanted but this is just example so we don't have these rocks go all the way over mountains just a little bit in this area okay now in image map shader you'll notice right here we have our size image pixel size what actually I want to do I want this is a little bit too much stretch for this I will have a lot of details in this image but I want to be them smaller applied to the rock so I'm going to set size of one meter by one meter it will be great very teeny tiny but right here in repeat we'll just need enable repeat X and Y and you see how it's now placing them properly over all rocks again this is um, seamless tiling texture so we won't have it any seams at this point let's go ahead and render and see what we have okay we have a nice texture applying to rocks but if you look on the rocks we have these sharp lines and look they don't look that real kind of still be look a little bit too much artificial so what I want to do is apply additional grain to them and we can do this by using additional fractal so let's just go inside here and what do we need to do we need to take this uh, rocks and apply texture over them with some normals so we'll go to use it power fractal for this let's go right click shader displacement and we'll use it power fractal shader so all what we need to do is just take fake stone input and apply to the chat the one thing you'll notice the displacement is applied through everything so we'll just need the same fake and apply to the mask in this case our displacement will be applied only to the area where the rocks of course the effect is strong and we need to modify this so let's open our power fractal we'll go to the picture scale and let's reduce this to 0 0.5 uh, lead scale we can also decrease this and maybe put it about 9 we leave it as default let's go inside the displacement tab and right here we can put it 0 0.5 we also have it our offset we leave it all as default you can see right here we already have it very nice the one thing is right by the displacement you'll notice right now it's go along with the normals so it's look okay but it's all going up instead of going up I want them going around the rocks I want this uh, displacement apply not just go all up I want them displacement going on the sides and everything currently we cannot do this we need to use the literal for that but to do this we need it um, to compute not apply to that so let's do this way we'll select this compute terrain control C control V copy paste I'm just taking this node 
this is if you repeat uh, some nodes, it's easy way faster access them. So I'm going to connect my fake to this compute and replace right here. All what it does is just make it compute node for me. So it's calculating properly displacement we did it. And now I can go to select literal normalize. Let's open this and you'll see how with normalization, how much it will affect. And now our rocks have a nice side effect. So right here you can see displacements, which are not going just only up, they're going in all directions and then normalize so they look more real to this point. Of course, we can modify some of these um, properties and adjust some smoothness. Okay, so let's also tweak a little bit. Instead of sharp ones, we'll go and we'll switch to the permanent billows. That will create some kind of eroded effect almost if you see like it's applied. So let's go ahead and render. Okay, so we have a nice erosion applied. You notice right here we have a very high spike, so we need smooth. But you look right here on the rocks, it's have a very beautiful side erosion. So we'll just need to tweak a little bit more to create a nicer and smooth effect. We can adjust this by going inside the displacement and work on displacement roughness and spike limit. So by bringing those down we can smooth out some of those displacement effects as well anytime you can if you think displacement is too high you can reduce as well displacement amplitude in a scale as well let's go ahead and um just take maybe lead up and even bring smaller 0.3 so it should smooth it um if you think small scale is too rough, you can increase here, or we can also maybe increase a little bit on a large scale. This will give it a little bit bigger bumps. Okay, let's go ahead and render one more time. Okay, so we have a nice um, displacement. We still have these lines. We probably I want to increase a little bit more of the displacement but overall you can see right here this is have a very nice look on the rocks right in this area I don't like some of this line but it's always good balance between um, settings for scale you're working with so we'll go just increase slightly here and in a noise we also can increase variations and smoothing so let's do this it will smooth just a little bit on those break lines okay we can go inside the scale and maybe about this point three just a little bit smaller okay and displacement maybe four will be fine because we'll just increase a little bit roughness this way okay so right here we preset our rocks displacement. Let's go to add additional details in the next tutorial.